What's up guys? Today I'm going to teach you how to install an NVMe M.2 SSD as well as a two and a half inch drive SSD. So let's go ahead and get started. This here is our M.2 drive. This is an inland one you can get at Micro Center or Amazon. Take note here, there is a notch there. There are some M.2s that might have a notch there and then a notch on the opposite side. That one is typically a SATA interface on the M.2. They're gonna be a little bit slower. This one's PCI Express, so it is a faster one. Now, take note on the motherboard here, as it even says right here, M.2 heatsink. So we know that our M.2 is gonna go there. So we're gonna to have to take off this heatsink. We're gonna be working with this here. So first thing we need to do is take off that heatsink. I'm using this screwdriver from the end, from the Gamers Nexus toolkit. I have to say I've used this motherboard before. This screwdriver works perfectly for M.2s. Um, however, this one it does great with this particular screw, but I have to use this screwdriver for this one, even though they're the same size. I think it got a little messed up. Right now we can take off that heat sink. Take note that there is a little thermal pad here. We want to leave that on. We're going to set that off to the side. Now some motherboards, and this one in particular, does not come with a standoff already installed. It's usually in a little baggie in your motherboard box. This here is your standoff. So. I use this tool from also from the Gamers Nexus toolkit. Uh, you can also use your fingers. It is capable to be screwed in with your fingers. But on the motherboard here, it'll say 2280. And that is for this particular size NVMe. So make sure you check what size NVMe you have. Most of them are standard at this 2280s. So I'm just gonna start it with my fingers and then use this tool here to finish it off and there, let's see. and that is tight next we can start installing the nvme drive and obviously this notch here is for the screw to latch onto it now what we are going to do is take that notch and then there is a little bit of a notch here on the little port that it goes in and you have to install it at, you have to get it in at an angle. And like so. And then you have to give it like a little push to go in. And you'll feel like a little socketing feel there. And then you press down. Next, we have this tiny little M.2 screw. And we're gonna use that little tiny screwdriver from Gamers Nexus. And these are magnetic, so they're great. So we're gonna press down, line that up, and we are just gonna get that nice and firm on there. And now we have to put back on our heat sink, and this hole will line up with this standoff here, and that hole will line up with this standoff. All right, perfect. And we just screw it back in. And that's nice and tight. Same thing with this one, just line it up, screw until it will no longer screw. And there we go. All right, so that is it for the M.2 heatsink. That's all there is to it. It's very simple and easy. Anyone can do it. Now let's move on and I'll show you how to work with a two and a half inch SSD. All right, to install our SSD, you can take note here of the two ports. We're going to need to be using both. This little one right here is going to be for our data cable, which I'll show you here in a moment. Take note that both notches here have a little L shape on here. This larger one is going to be for a power supply cable to power this SSD. That's going to be the same for any three and a half inch mechanical hard drive that you might have. Same installation process, same connections. In case you have a modular power supply, I'm showing you here, right there is SATA, which we know is gonna be where we're gonna to need to hook up a SATA cable if you have a non-modular power supply that are already attached to the power supply. Here is our, the cables that are gonna come from the power supply. 
these these ends here going to your two and a half inch SSD and take note of that L shape there and here is going to go right into that power supply so with this clip right here that's going to go into that little notch right here it should go in fairly easy like so until you hear a click like that then take one of these these ports here that notch take the notch and line it up and you want to give it a good firm push and you're done there and this here is going to be your SATA cable that directs data from your SSD to the computer. And this one end is going to go into the motherboard and one end goes to the SSD. These metal clips here are for quick releases. So again, same process, same little tiny L shape. You just want to line up the L and give it a push until you hear that click. If you ever need to unplug it, you just press down on that metal clip and voila. And then this side will go into the motherboard, same connection type. So that's basically it. I won't show you how to install it into a case because it's fairly simple as long as you read your case manual. It is going to be different for every single case. Every case is going to have, usually on the first or second page of the manual, it's going to tell you which screws you're going to need for specifically screwing in SSDs to their proprietary trays that they have for you laid out. So as long as you read your case manual, you'll be able to figure out how to install this into the case. It's uh, That's also fairly simple, not anything you're going to need to worry about breaking anything with. So this is just to get an SSD hooked up to your computer to get it working. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, switch over to my computer and I'll show you how to format your new hard drive so you can actually use it. All right, so we're here down in Windows. And the first thing you want to do is go down to the search bar and I just type in format. And once you type in format, it's going to bring up the option to create and format hard disk partition. You do that and it's going to immediately recognize that there's a new hard drive that needs to be formatted. And it's going to have two options here. You want to select MBR. Here we're looking at some hard drives that I already have formatted. So we are going to need to scroll down a bit and find one that says unallocated. And, un and we'll verify that it's the one that we need to, to create a new volume with because it has the same size of the hard drive that I just installed, the one terabyte. So we're just going to go through here easy. Just hit next. All this information here you can uh, just ignore that and just leave it the way it is. And now you just need to select what you want to, what letter you want to represent this hard drive. Uh, for me, I'm just going to keep going in alphabetical order. This one's going to be H and then I'll hit next. And all of this information is good. New volume is fine. If we're going to go ahead and hit next. Yeah. I'll leave all these check boxes the way they are. And hit next again, and it's going to see here, it's going to show that it's formatting. You just want to leave this alone. Don't do anything while it's working. And then eventually uh, it'll pop up the new folder for that hard drive. Uh, and that's when we know that it's done formatting. Uh, so we'll give it some time here to finish up formatting. It should pop up here uh, pretty soon. It's usually pretty quick. And once, yeah, so once we have that new folder, then uh, we know it's done formatting and we'll be able to close out and install any games or programs that you want on that new hard drive. Let's see what it, we got here. All right, here we are. Uh, it has popped up the new volume H. So this is our new hard drive that has one terabyte of free space. Uh, so feel free to close out of this and then you can close out of this disk management program uh, and you're all set. And it's as easy as that. All right, guys, I think that's all you really need to know how to install an M.2 drive as well as a two and a half inch SSD. And if in case you are still using one of the three and a half inch drives, it is going to be the same process as a two and a half inch SSD, same L shape for the power and with the data cable that needs to go to the motherboard. So if you have one of these old three and a half inch mechanical drives, you just follow the same process and it'll be 
uh, work just as well as that two and a half inch SSD. Just let me know down in the comments if you have any questions about anything else related to PCs and how to do them. I can easily make a tutorial for you in the future. Remember to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more from us. If you have any real concerning questions, try to hit me up on Twitter. I'm at techteardownyt and also on Instagram. You can find me there and I'll be more than happy to assist you guys with any questions that you have down either down in the comments here or on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, remember to leave a like on your way out and I'll see you guys in the next video.